lots of people today have their smartphone cameras with them at all times and as a result take more pictures than ever before. Let's look at using PowerPoint to create photo albums for all your great photos. A PowerPoint photo album is a presentation that you create to display your personal or business photographs. Today we'll look at a few ways to create the photo album along with some options to enhance the pictures and finally a great way to share the album. PowerPoint actually has a photo album feature and it's super fast and convenient. Let's take a look at that option first. So as soon as you open PowerPoint you're in a blank presentation and that's a perfect place to begin. You're going to head over to the insert tab of the ribbon. So I'm just clicking on insert and there's a feature here in the images group called photo album. So I could just give that a click. It will ask me to Im uh, identify my pictures. Uh, these uh, have been saved onto my computer, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this insert picture from file slash disk option. And I have several pictures here that I am selecting. Um, I'm using my shift key to click and select the different pictures I would like to incorporate. You can also hold down the control key and select the pictures that you want to incorporate. Now, um, I did not take these pictures, full disclosure. These are just pictures that Microsoft uses on its Windows 10 lock screen. So if any of them look familiar to you, you could um, have seen them when your computer locks. Uh, so I'm just going to grab those photos, selecting them all, clicking on insert. Okay. So it has brought in all those pictures I selected. Um, and you do have an opportunity now to select the ones that you want to incorporate. So you can look through them while you are checking these out. So I have nine or 10 pictures. You'll use the checkbox to indicate which ones you would like to include in your album. So if there's anything you don't want at that point, just don't check the box. You can change um, how many pictures it will put on a slide. So the way that works is in the album layout, picture layout, fit to slide. Um, if you want, uh, you can have the entire picture or one picture take up the entire slide. Or if you care to, you can go ahead and have multiple pictures on your slide. So one picture, or two pictures, or four. You also have the ability to include titles or captions, if you will, with those pictures. Um, so let me go ahead and choose that option so that we can show you that. Okay. Uh, underneath that now, I do have some additional things that I can select. The frame shape, maybe rectangle, um, or any of the other options that are here. I'll do soft edge rectangle so you can kind of see what that looks like. And I think that's all we really need to do at this point. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. And it will create the photo album. Okay, so here's the title slide, and I can change that. Just click in there and change the text. You can go ahead to each slide then, um, and based on the option I selected, it's one slide per, or one photo per slide. I have the soft rectangle edges around those pictures, and I do have a spot where I can add a title here uh, to indicate where this may be. Okay. Um, so if you are looking for a really quick way to create a photo album, then just go on over into the insert tab of the ribbon there and choose the photo album op option. It's a feature that's great and helps you produce uh, a photo album very quickly. So I'm just going to run through again just clicking each slide on the left hand side to display and once again you can go ahead and add your titles. If there is after the fact maybe there's a slide um, that has a picture on it that you don't want in your presentation no problem like this slide 8 I can just right click it over there on the left side and choose delete and then it will disappear from my presentation. Just like a standard presentation at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and save this um, and we'll use this in another project. Another fun option is to create your photo album from a pre-made template. There are PowerPoint templates for all kinds of occasions and themes. 
templates not only save time but also help you create interesting, even professional looking albums with very little effort. So to get started with a PowerPoint photo album template, you'll go to the File tab and you'll choose New. So File New. And there is a search box up at the top that lets you uh, type in what you're looking for. So let's put in photo album. And see what we find. So there will be um, all kinds, as we mentioned, of photo albums that you can select from. Some are occasion based, uh, birthdays, graduations, etc. And some are a little more generic. Okay, so scroll through and just double click the one that you want to use. So I'm going to go with this road trip one over here. Okay. Um, and then from there, you have your presentation. Um, this template has eight slides in it, and you can always copy slides and delete slides and add new ones if you needed to. Um, what the templates are going to give you are a combination of text and photos. Um, and they could be where they've already put in a photo for you, and we'll show you how you can change that. And then there'll be spots where you can just go ahead and um, add a photo. So. If it's a, a, an, a text placeholder, then you can go ahead and click in there and just type maybe whatever you wanted to include in that uh, text box. If it's a picture, here, let's focus on the pictures really. So there is a picture background here, um, and maybe I don't want it. Maybe I want to change that uh, and use one of my photos. It's a great photo, but uh, if you have some of your own, um, that's what this album's all about. So any photo that is already in your photo album, the best way to replace it is to use the change picture feature. And you can do that by right clicking the picture and there'll be an option in here called change picture. And the reason why we make this recommendation is so that the sizing um, will stay in place. You don't want to take a nice big picture like this and replace it with a, a, a small little postage uh, stamp size picture, right? So this uh, retains uh, sort of the formatting, the size, dimensions, and any um, anything like borders that might have been added to the picture. So again, just right click the existing picture, choose change picture. Um, and when this dialog box comes up, you're just going to be inserting it from a file. Browse out and find those pictures that you want to use. So mine are in my pictures uh, folder. And we are going to go with this one, I think. Uh, double click the picture you want to go with, and there you have it. Okay. So we'll do that, um, you know, in a couple of other places. For example, this slide, slide three, has some blank areas where we can insert or drag our photos, um, areas for our text. And then here um, are some, is an area where they've already put in a picture. Once again, if you want to replace the picture, just right click it, change picture, and go from a file to grab one of your pictures. Okay. There we go. And if it's a matter of there is no existing picture to replace, then you can usually just click the little picture icon there and go and grab the picture that you would like to use. If it's an area where you want to add text, you can usually go ahead and just click in, in the box, the, the placeholder there, and um, type in anything that you would want text-wise. And there you have your photo album from a template. While your smartphone has many of these options, you can also modify and enhance the pictures once you've added them to the album. You can do things like move, resize, rotate, put them in frames and correct them, even add artistic effects. So to get us started, we're going to click the picture that we want to modify. And in terms of moving and resizing, um, pretty common features and pretty consistent um, with maybe some of the other tools you've worked with. You can move the picture around um, by placing your cursor inside of the picture and clicking and dragging dropping it wherever you want. If you want to resize it, one of the best things to do is to use a corner piece. These uh, resizing sort of handles are all the way around, but make sure you use a corner piece so you don't skew the picture. 
uh, drag in towards the center, obviously, to make it smaller. Move uh, drag away from the center to make it larger. You can also rotate the picture. So if the picture was um, at level and you wanted to maybe put it on an angle, just use the rotation handle at the top of the picture, moving it uh, or dragging it either to the right or to the left to move it clockwise or counterclockwise. If the picture needs to be flipped, then there's probably a better way to handle this. On the Picture Tools Format tab, right, you have the Rotate options as well. So sometimes the picture just comes in upside down or something along those lines. So you can use that option here. Uh, again, as long as the picture is selected, just head over to the Picture Tools Format tab, and you can go ahead and use the options um, to write it or change it a little bit. Okay. Now, you can also put your picture in a frame. So as long as the picture is selected, right, you'll have the Picture Tools Format tab, and there are frame styles that you can select from. Just go ahead and highlight them to see what they look like. And to actually apply one, you can go ahead and just give it a click. Right. And beyond that, just a few other things, corrections and artistic effects. Um, there is a corrections option uh, right there on the ribbon. You can give that a click and uh, sharpen or soften the picture. And also there are presets here for brightness and contrast. You can hover over one of the options to see what it looks like and click on it to apply it. Same with um, color, right? Um, if you want to switch to sort of a black and white style or, or take it in another direction, uh, like we said, just uh, hover over an option to see what it looks like and click it to apply it. And then lastly, there are artistic effects um, that you can apply, just uh, maybe pixelated or something along those lines. There's some fun options in there, maybe make it neon. Y you can go ahead and have fun with that. Again, just hover over an option and click it to apply it. A great way to share your PowerPoint photo album is to make it into a video. You can export the album as an MP4, then email it, upload it, or post it to social media. So you can go ahead and create the photo album using either of the two options we looked at. And when it's complete, you're going to go ahead over to the File tab. And you're going to come down to Export. And the option you want to choose is Create a Video. You can leave this at Presentation Quality. We don't have any automatic timings or narration, so that option is as uh, is set as proper. Um, the second spent on each slide, you can increase or decrease this. And then what you'll do is choose Create Video. Save that wherever it needs to go with the name you want to give it. And then you have to have some patience. The bigger the file, the longer this will take. There's a status at the bottom of the screen here in PowerPoint. You can kind of see how far along it is. But like I said, you have to just let this run its course. Don't interrupt it. Don't start doing anything with this particular presentation while you are creating the video. So we'll come back to this in just a little bit. OK, our video is done processing. Let's take a look at what we do next. So once your video is complete, you're going to be able to just double click to launch it. And take a look at that timing. After five seconds, it will advance to the next slide in your presentation. And it will do that until all the slides are complete. So you can share this via email. You can upload it, post it to social media, and enjoy it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.